Good evening, everybody. It's a beautiful evening in the DMV area. And this afternoon, we're very fortunate to have with us a restaurateur. Please welcome Ula Piotrowska from OB Lee Winery. So OB Lee is um, a multifaceted restaurant. You guys are a crepery, a winery, and also a coffee shop. We have been in the Arlington area uh, since 2012. However, the business is over 31 years old. So we started in Delaware beaches um, and um, we had the chain of the little um, coffee roasteries. And in addition, of course, we are doing the crepes. And when we came over here, we expanded with the wine. And as we went, um, we expanded with the Polish food as well. So we kind of like try, trying to, you know, cover a lot of things at the same time. But I think what lots of people will agree with, in, with me is the fact that when you, when you visit us, you actually get this very European feel. Without spending extra money on the flight, you can go just, you know, to your neighborhood cafe and feel like you have a little vacation. Yes, especially these days when we need to feel like we're somewhere else. We don't <laughs> yeah. have the opportunity to. So you're offering that to us through um, food. Now, you guys are originally from Poland. So I'm from Poland. So I'm the Polish addition to the business. Uh, but my fiance and business partner, he is a um, New Yorker. Um, and actually, the name of the business, is it's, it's actually his name. So, oh, what do you mean? It's his name? <laughs> it's actually, yes. It's, he has a very unusual name, although, you know, my name is quite uh, unique as well. But yeah, that's actual, actual, actually his name. It's a huge entrepreneur and he had a lot of businesses um, in his career. Uh, but one of the fierce businesses that he opened was the coffee roastery um, mm. under the same name. So he kept the name Obili and uh, we decided to to go uh, with that name even in Arlington area and it, it goes well I mean uh, I think that the name uh, because it's so unusual it's it's great for the business yeah it works it's very distinctive so you mentioned um, Poland and I'm now going to pull up a few items that you offer on your menu oh sure yeah and mm -hmm. if you could tell us a little bit about these dishes right so um, the first thing I'm going to open up is potato latkes can you tell me a little bit? Yes. So potato latke and something to um, that's going to be a little lesson of the history. So potato latke is extremely popular dish from Poland, but in the United States, for some reason, and I think this is all, it's all because of the pronunciation, um, they think that the potato latke is actually the Polish name. We call it placki ziemniaczane. And I think that the latke came from placki because the pronunciation is very similar. Um, but what it is, it's very similar to the hash browns, it's just the preparation of it, it's a little bit different. Our Polish menu, we change seasonally. So this particular one uh, was about a month, we have it uh, a month ago, and people mm -hmm. loved it. Uh, we do with the, with the potatoes, I like to use the nice and the young potatoes. Um, and then we add a bunch of spices, a little bit mixture, some secret ingredients. <laughs> Trade secrets. <laughs> and, we don't need to know here. Right. <laughs> and something what I think a lot of people, I'm not sure if everybody knows in the United States, but in Poland, there is a two way of eating them. You can eat them savory way and you can eat them the sweet way. And I know you're thinking that it's going to be crazy, but we do not put uh, the applesauce. What we actually do, we put the sour cream and sprinkle with the sugar. It sounds crazy. <laughs> but it's but it quite works. delicious. It works. It, it works. works. <laughs> and the second way is as, as you do over here. So it's, we do just as a savory with the sour cream on the side. We love sour cream in Poland. Um, and, and a sprinkle with the, some salt and, salt and dill. And that's the way how we eat it. And I can see the dill. on. The, I love dill. So yeah, I yes, it's, it's on the side over there, yeah. <laughs> so let me pull up another Polish dish. This is pierogi. <laughs> so tell us about pierogi. Right, so pierogi, um, the easiest way to explain it are little dumplings um, and the key is in the dough. And when I'm saying the dumplings, I, uh, I always like to compare actually to the Italian pasta mm -hmm. because for me personally, there's not much difference. But the key is in the dough. Dough got to be a very, very tender and soft. So um, if the dough is, which is tricky because it's difficult to make it, when you, uh, when you prepare it, it's more difficult than, so of course, some people, they have some tricks. They will add, they will add some egg, they will add some uh, oil, but the traditional recipe doesn't call for that ingredients. There's two ingredients on it. 
it's flour and water. Flour and it's water. all about it's all in about the proportions and the way how you make it. So you cannot overmake it at all and that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, that's that's a pierogi. We serve all different types of pierogi. Um, on this particular picture, and this is the assorted uh, platter, and that contains uh, potato and cheese, sauerkraut pierogi, and spinach and feta. It's and, <laughs> and another thing uh, which I kind of I didn't know until I came to the United States. I noticed that usually in United States uh, people prefer or that's the way how they eat it. Pier- they fried pierogi. So in Poland, that's not the most popular way to eat it. The most popular way is just the boiled, and then we put a little bit of butter on it uh, mm. with the with the sauté onions or. Um, if it's especially if it's a potato and cheese, we we do like a um, bacon bits, mm-hmm. and that's it. We fry them next day. Oh, so, so you have to rest and get yes. The flavor so and... and there is the reason why. So and they are they are also delicious, but there is the reason why we do like the kind of like leftovers because if you're gonna fry the fresh pierogi ju- that you just pull out from the water, they still have a lot of water inside, mm. and that's gonna be very difficult to fry it. So you just kind of lose it, you know, the, the flavor and it's not going to be. So, yeah, we eat fried pierogi, absolutely, but usually next day. Yeah, and you let it have that crunch because the water evaporates. Yes, yes exactly, yes. Mm-hmm. So good. And then I'm going to pull up uh, one more. And this one, I'm afraid I can't pronounce it properly, <laughs> so I need your guidance mm-hmm. to pronounce this. This is a dessert. This is Yagojanka. Yagojanka, yes. <laughs> Yagojanka, basically what it is, it's, um, it's kind of like a Danish sweet bun, but it's full of blueberries. So mm-hmm. in Poland, like, just like in the rest of the Europe, we do a lot of dishes very seasonally. So there is a season for blueberries. And when I'm talking about the blueberries, that's not the blueberries that you have in the United States. I'm talking about the wild blueberries that they are mm. small and tiny, and when you cut them in half, they're not white, they're purple. They will stain everything. On the, it's For some reason, I'm not sure why, they're very difficult to get in the United States. Usually, you can find them in the frozen section. Mm. Um, and a lot of yogurts, they actually contain the wild blueberries, not the regular blueberries. Uh, but they have a little bit different taste. They're much, they a little bit smaller, and uh, they're sweeter. Mm. But that's so important when it's the season for the blueberries that you can find only in the forest and they got to be stuffed with the, lots of blueberries. That's the key to know if the uh, Yagojanka was good or not. When you cut it in half, you just need to have like a sea of blueberries pulling out, <laughs> coming out from the, from the band. Um, but that's, that's one of the things that what we do, uh, that's usually something during the summer. So in a, in a month or two, we're going to go to the Yagojanka season. Oh, I can't wait. It sounds delicious. <laughs> so that's taking us through a little trip in Poland through this cuisine. Now, um, tell me about the specials. Do you have specific days that you mentioned on which you have certain cuisine? To answer this question, I'm going to uh, say what it was before the COVID and okay. now what we are, because it's a little bit different. So um, during the week, we are crepery. We are offering all different types of uh, crepes, sweet, savory. So, um, of course, the option for the breakfast. We have the very, very vast selection of the breakfast crepes. One of the most popular um, breakfast crepes are crepes Benedict. You have mm-hmm. like a three different types with a salmon, with a vegetarian option, traditional one. Um, then we're going to go through the uh, lunch and dinner. And here we just have everything. Chicken fajitas, that is one of our most popular crepes. Um, we have some seafood option. We have, of course, kielbasa. <laughs> and then sweet uh, dessert crepes. Um, and here we basically have everything. So uh, the most popular crepes are the one with the Nutella or our cobblers. Um, and going with the, our regular menu, of course, we have the full espresso bar. Um, and the wine bar. And then every Friday uh, evening, so like uh, starting um, at 5 p.m., in addition to our regular menu, we offer the Polish cuisine. And that's like a separate menu. Um, and on that menu, we have the different selection of the Polish dishes, um, different types of pierogi, dumplings, schnitzels, kielbasas, bigos, which is like a hunter stew made from sauerkraut. Um, um, 
what else? Gnocchi, that's, the, that's another thing, uh, traditional Polish gnocchi. So we have that. And then on brunch, we are famous of all different types of mimosas. It's about like seven different uh, flavors, starting with the traditional orange, like a tangerine mimosa, mango, pink grape with strawberries. So that was before the COVID. Now, when we went to COVID, we had to kind of adjust. Mm. Uh, because we don't do so much. I mean, we, can, we are not allowed to have anybody inside, right? So everything got to be, I mean, it got to fit for the carryout. Um, we offer pierogi right now every day. Mm-hmm. So you don't have to wait until Friday. You can order them every day, anytime. So if someone feels um, at the morning <laughs> uh, to have pierogi, we can absolutely fulfill this order. And then on Friday, as usually, we do, our, we do have our uh, Polish menu. What we started doing, and it's very popular, we started doing the family dinners on mm-hmm. Wednesdays. So we need to pre-order them. Um, the, uh, the deadline, uh, it's on Sunday at 8 p.m. And then what it is, it's kind of, um, it's of course Polish influence. <laughs> and it's selection of different stuff. So we usually have, like this week, we're going to have the mixed grill. And we're going to have the one chicken shish kebab. We're going to have kielbasa shish kebab. Uh, rice pilaf, two different salads with the famous garlic uh, carrot salad um, and everything is always with the dessert mm. and this time I'm going to make it um, Boston cream eclair so that's what it's going to be for this for this that's Wednesday so, good. <laughs> <laughs> so for our viewers um, could you please tell us uh, your website and also all of your social media handles sure, so our website is very easy it's basically obly.com obylee.com um, and on the social media Facebook and Instagram you can find us under Obili Winery um, so that's that's basically what it is if you are um, especially for a little bit older folks that they still prefer more communication over, over the phone um, I can give you a phone number which is very easy as well it's 571-257-5054 and we are here we are really small family-owned restaurant so usually you can find me or Obi over here all the time so we are more than happy to answer all your questions um, and help you as much as we can. There you have it folks a European creperie, winery and coffee shop all in Clarendon. Please stay tuned follow Obi Lee on all of their social media. Thank you for spending time with us this afternoon Ula. Thank you thank you so much. Mm-hmm.